Hello guys, what is up? My name is Harry and welcome back guys to another Roblox Studio video. Today everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own city in Roblox Studio. Okay, it's going to be a really quick, really easy tutorial, so make sure you head to the end. Also remember to be subscribed to the channel because I make loads of epic videos on Roblox Studio, Roblox and just general Roblox stuff, you know. So make sure you subscribe and like the video, it only takes you like under a second, so make sure you do that. And yeah, let's hop right into this video. Okay guys, to start with, you want to head over to this model tab and make sure rotate is on 90 and move it to 1. This is vital to keeping your city organized and clean, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add a part in like clicking there. As you can see, we can get this part and we're going to line it up and we're going to do 1 up right there to here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like big blocks. If you want to get these blocks go down below and hit on the plug it was the better base rate plugin and you just want to click on this one right here okay so then you get this nice easy to use base plate then what we're going to do is we're going to get this one and we're going to drag it up so this is going to be our road you need a road to be able to build a city but um to make sure the roads are nice and solid we're going to make only one just like this so maybe you're questioning why well i'll tell you later okay to make sure we can easily curve it i'm going to put model back down we're going to change this to 0.5 just to be careful go down again and then from there we can then actually go ahead and make it road light so we're going to go here material i'm going to slam down and get concrete and i'm going to make this like that color that looks quite road like you know okay so yeah we're going to again go ahead and we're going to go duplicate that and we're going to bring that to there bring that to there so yeah we can now have a center bit now in the uk they're white lines in america they're yellow lines now most of my viewers are from america so hello americans but if you're an american i'm gonna do this just american style so you pop this up a little bit just like that and we can duplicate that and we can put that there just like that so that kind of pops up a bit now i recommend with this you put these turn off this move thing and actually delete that one get this drag it right down so like really really not above at all not very much like that then click on it again make sure it moves on again duplicate it and then bring it over just like that we can get these two and in america i believe they're yellow uh so you can get these two that one and that one make this yellowy color like that maybe i think that's nice from here we're then gonna go ahead and make sure these don't collide very well so we're gonna get actually no that's fine that's fine so that's kind of a road basis we can get this we can duplicate this again we're then gonna make a sidewalk so sidewalks about there ish maybe get that duplicate that bring that right across to there get these two make sure these colors is a bit lighter maybe that okay so there we go actually no these need to be a bit taller so you scale uh we'll bring this up by one bring this up by one and there we go we've got pretty much our basic road here so we can get this and we can get these together and we're going to press command g to group it we're going to call this road road segment okay that's what i'm going to call it if i can spell segment right there okay now we're going to actually extend this so we're going to get this and we're going to duplicate it and i'll whip it into server source just in case i'm going to go for this and we can actually just expand this very well so i'm going to bring actually what we can do if we can get this just hit duplicate duplicate it and drag it across just like that and get them both duplicate it drag it across get them both duplicate it drag it across get them all duplicate it drag it across it's just simple like this like that maybe there just like that guys we have ourselves a very nice roadway okay from this roadway we need to make buildings okay now the best way to we need to organize this so you go add a folder in i'm going to call this roads and we're going to get all these things i'm going to get these road segments and we're just going to plonk them into the roads folder here and close it up so you get a really nice looking kind of smoothed out thing okay so now we're going to actually make the building so for the buildings we're going to start off by adding a part in and placing that light up there we're then going to get these and we're going to scale it out so i'm going to build mine quite large you know buildings if you don't already know if you've been living under a rock for over like 80 million years then buildings actually are large so we're going to put that there maybe like that bring that out a bit more just like that and try and keep it under the grid that's my biggest tip keep grid and you won't go you won't get anything wrong really oh no okay so you can drag that up and there we go so that's our first real building now you may be wondering that looks nothing like a building well let me show you how i can make it building 
there's two different methods and I want to show you them both now so I want to duplicate this I'm going to plonk that there and I want to show you the two different ways we can make this a building so we're going to start off with the decal method so we start off this one and make sure this is on the front face actually we're going to go to the left what's this one there this decal we're going to actually use an ID so the ID will be in the description currently it's this one this is the front one so you can copy this little number up here see that copy that come back into studio and paste the texture into there as you can see it looks a bit odd I mean it just looks a bit weird like that but pretty much that is the first way then we can go to like this and make this this is what I like to do you can I have two different ways here one of the ways is to go smooth plastic and go tran reflectance to one and then there we go we've got all kind of kind of reflects off the building what kind of looks I guess realistic well not really but it looks kind of decent but my favorite way is to make this in neon where it's neon neon and make this color like maybe that like that looks nice I believe that looks decent now the only issue with this is that well maybe you can call it an issue or you can call it like a feature is that when you stretch out the decals stretch out with it what kind of makes it a bit of a shenanigan you know but yeah I'm actually gonna you can do the side bit, so let me just get this, duplicate that, make this on the back, what's this one here? Now it has a door here, the other one in the description has no door, so you click on this, paste that into there, and look, there we go. So that pretty much is one way of making the buildings. Now, this way is good, and honestly, it's good for if you want to make buildings like really small like this, it makes this really nice sort of grid effect on it. But sometimes it doesn't look the best with the decals. Second way, we're going to use something called textures. We want to go add here. You're going to add texture just like that. We're going to make this so it's on the left, like here. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this texture and we're going to paste it. Now, as you can see, it makes it a lot smaller, you know. So, what we can do here is make this. I'm going to make this like 50 and make this one like 50. So, we kind of get this. Now, what we can do. Now, guys, when you get this and you scale this up, it does not like affect the build. It does not affect the quality of the decal at all. The decals always remain that high quality. Now, this is a very useful feature, I suppose, for people who make big scratches and don't want to lose quality. So that I can do this and look. As you can see, guys, no quality is lost at all. It's all completely high quality. Whereas with this one, this the quality will decrease. So I'm going to keep it like this. You know, I can drag this across. Just like that and then you make the part like normal I like to go neon and then I'll make this a nice red or maybe pink color I haven't done a pink as you know this that's nice that's one I like that one so yeah guys that's two methods for creating the starter buildings now we're actually gonna be making these overlay and look a bit more 3d so we're gonna get our little road here I'm gonna actually get all of these and we're gonna group them so it's just a long road and we're gonna rename this to wrong Road, okay, long road just like that. Oh, I can't spell. Well, actually, no, I can. I got that right. Oh, that's a good one. But yeah, we're just gonna add a part in here, and we can actually go ahead and make this 3D. So with 3D, we're gonna get this, and we're just gonna drag across. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this outwards to try and create, and we're gonna go over these markers. Now, this is not necessary if you want your, if you have a really, really massive, massive open world. Now, I highly recommend not doing this simply because I want to make this metal, but simply because it will like use a lot more parts than necessary. Whereas I like I like to do this in my world, but I cannot. But if you don't know how to optimize them, um, then well, then it's not worth it really. Don't even bother trying. It won't affect your thing in very many ways. But you just bring that across just like that, and already, guys, as you can see, you get this really, really smart looking. I guess really cool well city building you know so we can then bring this to there bring that there just like that and open it just like this maybe bring that out a little uh, yeah just like that and that is it guys that is all you need to do to make a really nice city like there okay that is it guys look how nice that looks that right there guys is an epic 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 city building okay so yeah we can then get these rows guys so we got our buildings we can get these rows now duplicate them bring that across just like this and again just like that maybe 
select all of these now. Now, guys, as you can tell already, it's really sort of go as go with the flow, you know. It's not really sort of a solid process. So we're going to get actually all of these, and we're going to group them all together. So we're going to make this building. We're going to get this building here, guys, and we're actually going to duplicate it again. Now, this is not, I do highly do not recommend this. But some people like to do this. Some people just like to repeat the buildings over and over and over again. I really, like, tell people a lot, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. But because it kind of makes the city look repetitive and kind of cramped. But people still do it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. It's not so bad. It's just for certain places, like certain games, do not look good with repeated buildings. Whereas this this city seems decent with repeated. We're going to get to this building and we're gonna get to this part and we're gonna change the color to like a green, not green, because that lights up too much. How about a nice red like that? So yeah, already guys, as you can see, we're getting a really nice looking city. And this is similar style to games like Jailbreak City. Um, yeah, there we go, we can drag that across there. Now, just like that guys, as you can see, we have ourselves our very own city kind of area with buildings in robot studio okay now this is just basis okay general basis you can really expand on this which is adding like porches outside there's so many things you can add to this it's just this is what it's going to look like for now it's going to make this like uh not blue we've already done that we'll make it white whereas what a nice glowing white color maybe something like that okay there we go so that is our nice little city now the only thing the city is missing is street lamps so we're gonna add a part and yeah this is pretty much a building tutorial so you drag there we're gonna scale this down just like this maybe bring up just like that maybe make this a bit thinner one more bigger like that bring up just like this uh like that duplicate it come up and then bring through just like that if this is a really simple model guys i highly don't recommend doing anything like this if you're really trying to make oh, <laughs> look, oh god it's awful okay okay we can just all right we're just going to deal with that for now but generally if you want to make i'm just going to take off the move here if you want to make guys a really really high quality street light uh go on to blender make some meshes that's what i do but for now, it's just for quick stuff here. So we make that neon, so we now get a bit glow. Oh my days, it looks awful. It looks absolutely awful. We're gonna make this uh, metal, and then we're gonna make this a bit lighter, maybe there. Uh, group it with this part as well. And then finally, in here, we'll get the little light one, and we're gonna add something called a point light right there. So then that actually lights up now. And yeah, that is pretty much that. We can now just duplicate this, duplicate there, duplicate there, duplicate onwards, get all of these bad boys, pick them all up like that. Uh, we're gonna duplicate them, rotate them all, and drag them there, just like this, okay? And yeah, that is pretty much that, guys. That is how to make a city in Roblox Studio in under 10 minutes. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did like it, make sure you like the video. Also remember to be subscribed to the channel because it will really help me out a lot. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And this is goodbye for me. And well, what can I say? <laughs> goodbye.